Hi Jurassic Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Bruni from Disney's Frozen 2. So let's get started. To draw this cute fire salamander, let's start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and draw a big circle. And I'm going to come right across, so maybe almost the same size as this circle. Give it a big space and then we're going to come ahead and draw another circle. So just about that much space in between. And then let's come inside. We're going to draw another circle and it's going to be towards more this edge. So about right here we'll start. And same thing over here. Now this is going to be on this edge more. There. Nice and wobbly, right? <laughs> okay, so let's make this a little bit rounder. It's always tougher when the circles are bigger. Okay, so then I'm going to come in here and make them draw so cute eyes only because I have enough space. They're pretty big. So I'm just going to come in here and draw a curve right here at the bottom and shade the rest in. And by doing it this way, I can also give the eyes of Bruni some color. But if you don't want to, you can just put in a one highlight and just shade it all black. It's all up to you. So lines at the bottom. Same thing over here. So two small circles for highlights. And a curved line at the bottom. And shade in the top. Okay, so we have his eyes in. Now we're going to draw his smile. We're going to come right underneath his eye um, and we're going to draw this curve that kind of wobbles up and then down. So let's say about where half of his eye is. So let's come about right here. Give myself a point. I'm going to come to the other side and give myself another point. Only because I'm drawing pretty big so I just know where I'm going. So I'm going to come from this point and I'm going to kind of follow my eye. Go right underneath the eye. And as I come to the center, I'm going to slightly go up a little bit. So, about right there, come up a little bit and then start to come down. And then right underneath that eye again. And curve up. Whew! <laughs> there, we did it. And then you can cap it off at the end. And then of course right here in the center let's give him a little oval or a little dot for his nostrils. Right there. Okay. <laughs> now um, that we're done with that part let's come above his eye and we're just going to draw a curve over his eye. So I'm say about right here. I'm just going to curve up slightly and then come down. So same thing over here. Curve up and come down. Now using this curve, I'm going to come around the smile. So come out and around and slowly build his head. So now that we have that in, let's come in between right here and we're going to draw a curve to finish off his head. So a slight curve right there. And then the same thing over here. We're going to curve around his eye and his smile. Okay, so now we've surrounded everything. Now we can start to draw the rest of his body. So let's bring this down more. And let's see, I'm going to bring this curve and it's going to end kind of where we start this eye. So say about right here, I'm just using these points so I can kind of better figure out how, where to put all my lines. So kind of see where this eye is right here, where it starts, kind of ending around that area. So right here, I'm going to come in and just kind of looking at this side. I'm going to start, say, kind of in the middle of this eye. 
I'm going to start to come in and curve. So see, it's how it's in the center of this eye right here, about that area. And I'm going to start to curve it down. So for his neck, and then in this area, I'm going to start to draw the neck. So I'm just kind of coming down with a line. And using this line, I'm going to bring this down more. And this side's going to be shorter. So I'm going to start to curve out. And from there, I'm going to start to go out for his body. So bring this part down. So just go back and forth. It's just easier for me to figure out how uh, the proportions. So let's see, you know this is part is just going to be a belly. So just start to round it off. And now let's give him a little back, a little hump right here. And bring this in. And so now I have these front legs I need to draw and it's going to be right underneath this eye. So I'm just going to start to bring that in. And before I finish that, let's come right underneath this eye. And about right here, I'm going to start to draw the first leg. So I'm just going to draw a curve. I'm going to come in here and finish this curve in. So it's just a curve that comes out short and right here. Another curve, and I'm going to zigzag his little toes. So four of them, and in. So on this side, I'm going to curve in this way. And it's going to be a little bit higher, so about right here. And I'm going to zigzag three toes now. So come in here and connect. So now let's go ahead and continue his body. This is going to be overlapped, comes in. And about in this area, I'm going to draw the back leg. So about right here, curve. And it's going to be at this angle following the tail. So about right here, I'm going to stop. Curve out and about right here, another curve. So it's all about the same width. And then right here, we're going to zigzag one, two, and three. So go ahead and connect. And now to draw his little tail. So I'm going to bring out, curve it in, hump it a little bit, and about right there, give it a little curve, soften the edge, and bring it in. So it's all continuing there. Okay, so then now to give him some details, I'm going to utilize this line right here. You can do it when you're coloring, but I wanted to show you right here, continuing this curve, just very lightly, I'm going to draw a curve and it's going to come around. So just separate his neck area from his body. And it's just going to taper it off about right there towards his leg. And then up right here, he has some details. So I'm just going to put in softly two V's for some markings. And then he has this patch right here. So I'm going to utilize this curve. Come down. So of course, if you don't want these hard, harsh black lines, you can just do that when you're coloring. And one more here. So two V's right here as well on his tail. And um, that's pretty much it <laughs> for my version of Bruni the Fire Salamander from Frozen 2. I hope I made it easy for you to follow along and inspires you to draw it too. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.